Now let's welcome back Matthew Manning. Matthew, who's over here. <laughs> with Barbara. Hello, Barbara. With Barbara Forsyth. And why is Matthew with Barbara Forsyth? Matthew, it's all yours. Well, yeah. Barbara lost her sense of smell, which is a rather unusual thing to lose, but 40 years ago. And you'll also often find if someone's lost a sense of smell, it will also have affected their taste. So Barbara's got a very limited sense of taste as well. It was caused by a sinus infection. So for 40 years, she's not been able to smell. Now, if I do a healing demonstration, I'll normally try to find somebody with a problem, which, if I can help, everybody can see there's a change. Often I'll try to find somebody with a locked shoulder or a bad neck or whatever. But... Um, there are ways that you can test sense of smell. So we've got over here three bottles with various um, obnoxious smelling things in them, which we can try out both on you, David, and on Barbara. Right. And um, if I can get the top of it. We're just check checking to that. show there is a smell Don't say here. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> is this some crude practical joke? <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be that. But anyway, there is that. You can smell it. I smelt it. But I'm just curious whether Barbara can smell it. No. Wow. Well, there you are. This is proof. Well... I don't think you need to do the next one. I think we've... <laughs> <laughs> I can vouch that... Bit that bad. If you've still got a sense of smell left. It's oh. <laughs> a nice one, is it? No. no. For you, it's no better than the last one. Right, there we are now. Now, so you're going to get to work. And... Yes, and while I'm working with Barbara, if maybe you at home have got an ache, a pain, a bad back, a locked neck, a frozen shoulder, why not try to tune in during the next 10, 15 minutes while I'm working with Barbara to me, to the energy? Imagine yourself being well, see yourself doing the things which you would do if you were without that pain, without that problem. So I should be working with Barbara for a while whilst there are other things going on, but um, I shall also be doing some more healing later on in the show. Again, keep tuning in, and we're interested to get your telephone calls should anything happen. Right. OK, begin, and, and people can just watch for a moment. Matthew at work there. And we'll see Matthew a little bit later on. In the program. How have things been going on over here, Matthew and Barbara? They were certainly noisy, but we hope that we've managed to get something happening. Really? Did you? What did you feel in the course of this? Well, at first, I didn't feel any heat, and then I started to feel heat um, there, you know, where he had his hands. You but felt that, heat yeah. here. Yeah. And like a pulling. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's fascinating. Well, let's let's see what. It's certainly a strong smell of burning rubber, anyway. <laughs> Can't. Hmm? Can't. Nothing on that one? No. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Is that sweet? Well, you tell me what you think it is. I couldn't tell you what it was. But you can but smell something, something from it. Do you know what that is, David? Is it something you smell in a sports dressing room? <laughs> Disinfectant. Pun? Disinfectant. Disinfectant. Oh, well, I must have been in a dirty dressing room. But that room. wasn't... Um... <laughs> but you, you, sm you smelled something. something. That, that's I had a sensation. You had a sensation? Yeah. And what about that one? Be careful. Be careful. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's thrilling. Oh, you got that one. That, that is absolutely <laughs> thrilling. That is absolutely thrilling. And that was the one day that it nearly took your head off. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs>